cried with a loud voice as when a lion roareth. And when he had cried, seven thunders uttered their voices. And when the seven thunders had uttered their voices, I was about to write, and I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Seal up those things which the seven thunders uttered, and write them not. And the angel which I saw stand upon the sea and upon the earth lifted up his hand to heaven, and swear by him that liveth for ever and ever, who created heaven and the things that therein are, and the earth and the things that therein are, and the sea and the things which are therein, that there should be time no longer. But in the days of the voice of the seventh angel, when he shall begin to sound, the mystery of God should be finished, as he hath declared to his servants the prophet. Time shall be no more. He announces that time is over. What happens? What happens? Could that be so now, brethren? Seriously think, if it is, then the pyramid is capped by the seven thunders. You remember the pyramid message? It's the capstone. What did it do? The Holy Spirit capped off the individual and seal it when we added to our faith righteousness and godliness and faith and so forth we kept adding to it till we got seven things and the seventh one was love which is God that's how he makes the individual and caps him and seals him with the Holy Spirit then if that be so he's got seven church ages that he's had seven mysteries that's been sounded away and they fought for to bring back and now the headstone comes to cap off the church does the thunders mean that, my brethren? Sirs, is that where we're at? Praise God. Amen. And Brother Coleman says, the thunders, the, the reason for the silence that the thunders held the secret, held the mystery. Why heaven was silence. Something was being revealed down on the earth. Amen. But that was the capping of the church ages. They couldn't go no more. No other ages. The only thing that was to come forth was the bride age. Praise the Lord. The bride age coming forth with Malachi 4 call. Bride call. Resurrection call. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So the seven thunders unfolded into the threefold mysteries. Because the seven thunders held the threefold mysteries. Correct? Praise the Lord. Now it has come down to the threefold revelation. A revelation very clear. Elohim, Logos, Bride. Now the bride is ready to be capped off. Praise the name of the living God. Oh, hallelujah. I feel like shouting running through the skies and brother Abraham says sirs is this the time and here we are the call to the resurrection is on why because it has all unfolded to a threefold revelation and there's nothing beyond that you can never go beyond that this is the finish The only thing that is remaining is for the head to unite with the body. And the body is not dead. The body is alive. She is being energized. Life is coming from the head. That's right. That's the only way this call could go forth. The call to the resurrection because time is ripe. 
the revelation had to go forth. The bride had to be on earth separated from the shark. I will meet you in Galilee. No more shock. No more unbelief. But the bride word. Oh, that's where we are. We are saying so. The resurrection is on. Yes, sir. Praise be to God. Amen. Now that was identified. No doubt about it. No question about it. Praise the Lord. Amen. So we are here. We are not saying he's coming, he's coming. He's here. He's come. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. So Brother Brown will say he is the head of the body that is born from the sin of unbelief in God's word. Amen. That's the body. Born from sin of unbelief. But the body has come to life. You look at yourself and say, I was like this. I used to be like this. I used to do this. I used to speak like this. But no more. Something has happened. I'm new. Praise the name of my desires. My feeling, everything has changed. Amen. The love of God boiling in my heart. Love him with all my heart. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Can't go to sleep without speaking to him for once. Go to a corner somewhere. Get a hold of him, my love. My God. Amen. You are my head, my all in all. Praise God and have peace with thy God. Oh yes, sir. And then he speaks back to you. Reveals secret things to you. Bring peace in your heart. Praise God. Takes away the burden. Takes away the sorrow. Takes away the worries. Takes away all this. Praise God. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Now here is our assurance. Praise God. He is the first fruits of the resurrection. That's right. Then the bride body must follow the head. For it is part of his resurrection and part of his mystery. Part of it. It is impossible for it not to go. It is part of God's mystery. How could God reveal himself here and raise it up by the word so he reveals his church and raising it up by the same word it is part of his threefold mystery. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. So the bride body is here. The head identified. Amen. Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today and forever. Amen. So we are entering into a manifestation of the head and the body coming together. Talk about fireworks. Talk about a hallelujah, glory to God. Oh brother, your soul is going to explode. Talk about the joy. Talk about a tremendous victory in the love divine. At a time now, we are going home. Amen. So what can we do? What else can we do but bring the head to the body? And is the word. And it comes in simplicity. Riding a white horse. You may be seated. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> my, my, my. <laughs> Amen. Something just dropped in my mind here. <laughs> in my heart. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Amen. Amen. You remember in the sale book, the prophet talking of a story of a person, a man, going to look for a wife. 
You know that how he came? Praise the Lord. And he found her. And he left her with a promise. I'm going to come. And I'll take you home. Praise the Lord. And then he went away. And then the bride started making herself ready. She was given the date, the hour, the time, everything. Started putting on the wedding garment. And they arrived. But in between there, he came and they didn't know that. The rest of the cousins did not know it was a secret coming. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> Amen. So the rest were going on doing their things. They did not know that he had dropped down. Praise the Lord. So they couldn't understand how this cousin could be so sure, so determined. With all this faith. They would ask I say, are you sure? I say, yeah. Why? Because I believe his word. He said so. That was all. <laughs> they laughed at her, they mocked her, they said, no, I'm not going to bother about that. But he's coming for me. Then at the right time, the right moment, she was standing there ready. And all of a sudden, they heard a sound. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. Now listen to the prophet's words. He said, I can almost see that angel at the finishing of the seventh seal with his hands lifted up and crying out, time no longer. Not before, but at the finishing, at the end of it. Oh, yes, sir. Are we at that time? I say, yes, we are at that time. Hallelujah. Amen. Blessed be the name of the living God. Amen. So we are here. Amen. We are looking for a manifestation. That's what I'm looking for. That's what the bride is looking for. Amen. So the fivefold ministry has to bring him forth. Praise God. The word, the threefold revelation already identified. We know who he is. Oh, praise God. Amen. Not guessing here, guessing there. Running here, running there. No. But the bride knows her mate. The word. The threefold revelation. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That's a great victory itself. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise God. So he makes you ready. He himself prepares you. And when all is said, Father let the fire fall. The head and the body connects together. And this is what Malachi 4 said here. Praise God. Amen. So now the spirit of God has worked under Luther. Justification. Sanctification under Wesley, the baptism of the Holy Ghost under Pentecost, and here it is in the last days performing and doing the same, very same thing that it did when it was in Christ. What is it? The church and the cross, and the church and cross has become one. Amen. Now hear his words. And as soon as they connect together, that last link, she will go through the sky shouting, Up will come Wesley. Up will come Luther, all the rest of them back in those days. Amen. And there will come a resurrection. So, Handcroft Chapel, around the world, we are here. We have arrived. Praise the Lord. Something is about to explode. Amen. I'm going back to East Africa on fire. Amen. Nairobi Torah, I'm coming on fire. Handcroft Chapel is on fire. I believe Peter Mayer is on fire. And when the power of this church begins to rise, the power of the church in East Africa, power of the church in Europe, power of the church in America, power of the church around the world begins to rise up. 
Hallelujah. And I'm beginning the eagles begin to rise. As the headstone is coming down. The word. Amen. She's getting closer, begin, becoming to look more like him. Full of love. Loving him with all her heart. Amen. The reality of his presence is so real in her life. Every corner, everywhere she goes, she knows he's by his side. She's by her side, rather. At home, at colleges. Amen. Students, praise the Lord. At place of work, you know he's standing by your side. Glory be to God. And the closer he comes, the more love for him you feel in your heart. So much in love with God until there's no room for any spirit else. There's no room for any other thoughts. But only the love of God. Blessed be the name of the living God. Amen. So church of bride of the living Christ, I say I'm finished. God bless you. I'm done. You're surprised, eh? Praise the Lord. Amen. I'm over. The manifestation of the head and the body uniting together for the resurrection and the rapture. I say we are here. We have arrived. Father, let the fire fall. Glory, we can do no other. Amen. Every service, the fire is going to fall. Amen. The anointing is going to be there. Praise the Lord because we are walking right into that anointing. His divine presence. His very person. Bringing to pass the promise. Bringing to pass the revelation that was breathed upon you. You are the Holy Spirit. Is going to come to pass. With this full manifestation and in full strength. Once more the world will hear direct from God. As at Pentecost. The Spirit and the Bride say come. God bless you. We'll see you in the morning. Give the Lord a shout of praise. Praise God. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. What a time. Praise the Lord. Brother Chapman, it will soon be over. Praise the Lord. The young and the old. We have young bodies up there. No more sorrow, no more pain. No more parting. No more bye-byes. No more planes. No more visas. I'm done. God bless you. Give the Lord a hand of praise. Can you play that song? It won't be long. We are going home. Turn around. Greet your brother. Greet your sister once again.
raise our hands and just sing it with all our hearts. Don't worry about it. Well, count. 